Hi all folks, this is Max from atrix4ghacks.com That's my new site for the atrix4g hacks Anyway, we're gonna root my uh, atrix4g It's on the latest, latest software uh, Which is on version 4.1.57 2.2.1 Android um, Anyway, there's this thing called gingerbreak um, Dot apk I'll have the files link below this video uh, or on my blog post below this video. Anyway, go download that and what we're gonna do is connect the phone to your computer. Alright, and what we're gonna do is copy over that APK file uh, by setting it to USB mass storage. Alright, and uh, Let me show you here. So there's the file right there, the gingerbreak.apk. Once you download it, copy it over into your SD card as I have. All right. And then the next step, we'll need some kind of file manager. So let's uh, also turn off the USB. If you don't turn it off, it's not going to be able to use it from the phone. So let's see if there's a file manager. There we go. Files. Go to your files. And then we'll go to the SD card. Huh? Internal phone storage. Okay, that's why I put it. And uh, we're going to hit hit up gingerbreak. Alright. And hit OK. Oops. Oh, you know what you got to do? I think you got to go to settings applications uh, manage applications oh you know what you're gonna have to install it manually so I'm gonna go install it manually so sorry um, how to fail there so we're gonna go to uh, uh, applications development and make sure the USB debugging is checked on and it's con connected to your computer and then and also you'll need an SD card so open up the back cover um, and insert it just like the way it's shown so you have an SD card because it doesn't come with it if you don't have it the ginger brake won't work and then let's reboot it power it on and next you need to uh, make sure your drivers are installed so go to uh, start control panel hardware device manager and if you put your phone into the debugging mode you should get something like moto composite adb device under adb interfaces if you don't get that that means you don't have the drivers installed um, just get the drivers i have the links to it and then you'll get some kind of like a pop-up with the adb thing and then you just say update driver and then point to the driver i i gave you um, and once that's done, what we're gonna do is uh, go download the files that I gave you with the uh, with the APK file with the ADB, and put it uh, in a folder maybe called SDK. All right, and then we're gonna do CMD SDK of your root folder. So, actually, for me, I, I have it under. I've copied the files under as atrix 4 g See, it just so, so cop, copy the unzip it and copy it into the root directory of C directory, um, and then go open up a command prompt. And what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go cd cd slash atrix 4g like that, and then we're just gonna go adb install. Uh, what is that called? Ginger break, like that. All right, <coughs> and then. And then it installed. Oh wait, well, well, I already installed it, but it should install it. So once you've that got that installed, it should be all ready to go. Let's go back to our phone. And uh, you can also, you know, that that one's for Windows, but you can also get ADB for Mac or uh, uh, Mac or Linux by going to the uh, the site. Uh, just type Android SDK. I'll have links to that too if you guys need it. Um, 
So let's go find Ginger Break. Right there, do you see it? Yeah, there we go. Install it, and then just hit root device and it should root it. So I'm gonna set my phone over here, and then that way I don't have to hold it while it's doing its thing. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to probably um, install, uh, oh they have this hack where you can um, hook it up without a laptop dock or a USB dock to your monitor because otherwise the webtop doesn't work. Motorola made it so, and AT&T made it so you have to buy those things and those things are expensive so I don't really want to buy it and I already have uh, like a Bluetooth keyboard. Actually, I'll show it to you. It's kind of actually cool. Uh, I have a review on this. See, I've got this uh, flexible keyboard. It's also waterproof. And also, I've got a Bluetooth uh, mouse that I can use with it. And I'm going to install Ubuntu so it runs on top of it. And, uh, you know, hopefully it will run faster. There's also another Ubuntu hacked onto the web top that I might try to, which is kind of cool. But I'll be back once this is done. So see y'all later. So it's it just rebooted, which means it's probably uh it probably uh rooted it. And this one also works on uh, 1.83. The latest one, actually the one I had was one right before it. But uh, let's go check it out when it boots up. Hopefully. I've got a rooted Atrix 4G and uh, I'm going to do some more fun stuff with it, you know. So I'll be back when it completely boots up. So it booted up, so let's go check if uh, our um, root app is there. And uh, oops. Super user. Yes! It's been rooted, baby. So that shows you that uh, we have the super user app. All right, let the hacking begin, right? So I'm gonna go, go install that hack next. So I'll have more videos. So stay tuned, folks. It's a hacking day.